Um, it was 2.30, and I was talking to my dad on the phone. I was driving into Guthrie, and I'm talking to my dad, and I get a call on the other line. And it's from a number I didn't recognize. And I thought it was a solicitor or something, so I didn't answer it. Well, they left a message, and after I got off the phone with my dad, I listened to the message, and the message said, uh, um, Lieutenant Behenna, this is Molly from the White House, President Trump's office. The president would like to talk to you, so when you have time, please give me a call back. And and, uh, <laughs> and uh, so I ended up calling back, of course. But I mean, at the time, I'm just, uh, I mean, I couldn't believe it. You know, speech was, I mean, I, I was breathing real heavy, my heart was beating real fast. And he says, Michael? And he's like, this is, uh, this is President Trump. And, and at this time, I'm just, I had tears in my eyes, my heart's beating fast, and, and I, um, I'm smiling from ear to ear. And I had a feeling I knew what it was for. <laughs> and uh, so he says that, that uh, um, you know, your, mm -hmm. your record is going to be wiped completely clean. Uh, you're you're going to receive a pardon, and, and you deserve it. And he said, there's, there's cases that I've been looking at. And yours really stuck out, and you came highly recommended. And and uh, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was just an unbelievable moment, really. President Trump called, which I think says a lot about the man. I mean, I mean, he didn't have to do it that way. He could have just uh, uh, told my lawyer and passed it down that way. But you know, it's more uh, personable. I, I think the best case scenario would be. I'd get a new trial. I mean, but the likelihood of that happening is, is slim to none. I've, I've been through all my appeals. So this, I look at it as the, I mean, it's the best thing that could happen. And I think that, that they tried to protect the, the conviction that happened during. Uh...